taking a look at the installation of the NHC 14, it's actually a very simple process. Today we're going to be installing it into an AMD motherboard. Uh, the Intel setup is very similar. One key difference being AMD will be using its own stock backplate, whereas with Intel you're going to use the backplate provided by Noctua. First step, backplate in place. I'm going to have the brackets that the NHC 14 is going to sit on. Right here. They will go in, raised side up, threaded, which is what the unit will screw into. The screw goes through with the plastic bushing. And then we'll just screw into place into the stock back plate. Then repeat for the other side. Now your inclination is probably going to be to have it bowed out following the manual. This needs to bow in for correct installation. Once the brackets are in place and fastened down, we'll put just a drop of NTH1 thermal compound onto the CPU cooler. A lot of people put way too much thermal compound on. You don't need much. That's it. Just a drop. Uh, about a quarter the size of a pea will more than do the job. The NHC 14 is secured down with just two screws. One on each side. So we'll just drop the unit into place, making sure Line the screws up. And get it seated. Next, we're going to take our screwdriver and it drops down through the hole. in the fan and you might have to search around a little bit a little help to get it right onto the head of the screw and just tighten it right down the inside started and the other side. Once in place, you need to wire the two fans. Noctua includes low noise adapters and ultra low noise adapters for both fans, as well as a Y connector. This way both your fans are always receiving exactly the same amount of voltage rotating at the same speed. We're going to go with full speed fans. Very simple. Plug the two fans in into your CPU fan socket on your motherboard, and you're ready to go.